All right, guys, I have to stoop down because of where I've got the camera today. Back here working on the Jeep. And today we're gonna give her a bath, or him. I haven't still picked out a name all these years. Three years and no name. So if you guys have an idea, leave me some names down in the uh, comment section. We're gonna try out a few things. First, I'm gonna get her clean, dryer, and then depending on the rain, it's supposed to rain here in a couple hours, uh, we'll decide which of the products uh, that I'm gonna put up here now that we ought to use. Not sure if you can see these swirl marker, especially right here. If we, if we can get it done. Yeah. Right there. See that? And there's some right in here. And a few little streaks right in here. They're minor. Uh, this right there is the biggest part. I think what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try some cleaner wax today. I haven't used that in a while. We'll see what that does. If not, we'll have to go with some polish or some a little bit stronger, but I think that'll probably take care of it. Let's see. All right. I've got the Meguiar's cleaner wax and a clean microfiber. So I'm gonna test this hood and see how it does. We'll just try this little panel right here first and see how it works. We're going to work it in. Right. See over here. Let's see where we put the, the uh, cleaner. Let's get that on there. There you go. Cleaner wax. I'm going to go grab a clean uh, microfiber. I'm going to go with slightly improved, but not right. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see it right around there. But that's where there's still some imperfections in the paint. I'm going to try a couple more spots with this by hand, and then we're going to switch over to colonite and try to really make it just shine. And then when we've got a whole day, we'll come back and do some proper paint correction. But for now, let's try work in this spot a little bit heavier. Actually, that time around it made a good, a nice improvement. Let's see if I can capture it. But most, there's still the slightest little bit right in there. But it, it did it. I bet if I did it a little bit more, I could get it out. But that actually made a big improvement, especially over here with these streaks. Probably can't see it on the camera, but it made a big difference. Now we're going to switch over. Let's just try to give it that deep, wet look with the colonite. This is the colonite here. Colonite 885. 885. Heavy duty paste wax, it's called their fleet wax. One of the things I like, marine and aeronautical wax. I use this on the boat and I use it on the Jeep and it, it holds up really well.
well, no, it's, that paint's pretty shiny. I will say that I think we got rid of most of the scratches and then filled them in pretty well with the wax to the point where you don't really see them. See the reflections of my hand here. You can see this, uh, this little fuzzy thing right here, the reflection. That's actually the microphone, which uh, is on top of the camera. There's our paste wax. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the hood and see what happens after that.